We decided to take a little trip um, along the coast and check out some other places. I'm just trying to keep an eye out for like places that are available. This time we went to Abyssal and we actually had a uh, viewing booked um, to go and see this. Basically, it's called The Shack. We were on our way to the new location and this time we have chosen a site in Carnarvon which we are absolutely in love with. This week's been um, pretty full on as per usual. We started the week by heading to Cardiff. We are filming some training videos. We've realised that every store we open, basically, we're going to have to um, do training. And when we opened both Cardiff and Funded Note, the food training was um, not the smoothest. <laughs> do you agree? Not the smoothest. Not the smoothest. Um, so we are trying to make ourselves look like professional um, people. <laughs> so we headed to Cardiff to use the kitchen there to basically film a training video for every single um, product that we have in the in the menu at the cafes. So far we've been here since 10, it's 4 o'clock and we've made four portions of fries. But it's quite good fun, we've eaten a lot of fries so that's been nice. The idea with this is that as we open more stores, potentially there might be a time where we have to open more than two at a time and so having training um, in video form as well as us going and doing training just means that every store is the most prepared they can possibly be before they open. So while we were in Cardiff I had a phone call um, and this phone call basically um, was kind of saying that we might have another place um, so that was pretty exciting. Oh hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got it, that means we might be able to open by summer, that's awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Yep, nope, I'll send that email now. Thank you so much. Bye, bye. I think we got it. But a little bit more on that later. Later in the week we decided we'd take Stacey on a little road trip um, to show her Carnarvon, to show her the new place. So she's got a bit more of an understanding because although she's doing the sort of the back office stuff, the, the paperworky side, um, organising of um, builders, etc., etc., from a, from a distance, um, it's a lot easier when she knows exactly what the place looks like. So that was really fun to get to show her the new place. We're on a little team team outing to the next um, to Carnarvon. Everybody, you're so So when we got to Carnarvon we knew that it would have changed quite a lot um, so it was quite exciting to see what had been done in the last week. Bye! They've put the partition wall in and everything so it's going to be look really different in there. So as you will have seen last week it was humongous, it was almost like a giant warehouse um, and we were just taking a section of that um, and we kind of thought that it was going to be quite small <laughs> and then when we walked in we realised that we've still got this huge space to fill. Whoa, it feels a lot bigger than I was expecting it to. So much room for activities. Shall I tell you what I wanted to do? I wanted to paint the ceiling pink. I like the kind of industrial vibe. Yeah, pink industrial. Basically, I don't mind this, Yeah. but this just makes me think of school. What's your options then? Well, I was thinking we lift it all up and put, do polished concrete. Be nice, wouldn't it? You like to spend money these days, don't you? So the spot itself is honestly so beautiful. It's one of, I think, I say this about them all, but it's one of the most beautiful sites we found. Um, you've got the harbour and then you've got the sea the other side, um, and then actually the castle in the distance. Um, however, I will say it is um, noticeably quiet down there. The sun was shining, it was a beautiful day, and there were people down there, but it wasn't um, it wasn't the, it's not the busiest of spots that we've chosen so there is a little bit of worry there um, um, but we've just got to make it a destination I think we've got to do what we've done in Aberystwyth and Llandudno and that's take a not so busy part of town because Llandudno and Aberystwyth are in that situation and make it become a busy part and, and draw people there um, for ice cream, good coffee, 
um, good cakes. So fingers crossed we can do that. The hope is that we can create a draw to this place um, and actually show people that maybe don't walk down this bit how amazingly beautiful this part is, to sit out with a coffee um, and enjoy the view down here. And then finally, same day, we decided to take a trip to our potential new site, which we're really excited about, which is... <laughs> Abasoch. Let me give you a little tour, Stacey. Okay. So here is the shack. That's the tour. <laughs> um, okay, so what we were thinking is bifold doors there, a bit like that place around the corner, so then you've got a counter here, and then you've got a wall here, and then you've got the smallest kitchen here. Oh, dresser. What's that mean? Oh. Right there. So the reason I say potential is because we have agreed verbally, um, but nothing has been signed. So it's not really done. It's never done until it's done. They could always pull out, we could pull out. Um, and there are reasons why we haven't yet signed on the dotted line. We need to find a water, sol water solution that isn't getting yeah. to the mains. Why not? Because it's just going to take, we won't be able to find summer. Have you asked anyone? Let's ask someone. Stacey's been looking into it, we can ask okay. her. They might also ask for a bomb fee, which is if Welsh water ends up doing any work and if there's any repi uh, repairs needed to the pipe to be able to do it, they take it out of that bond. If they don't have to make any repairs, then we would get that bond back. And then if they approve it, it then converts to a different type of um, agreement. So really, we need to speak to somebody who actually knows how to do it. Have a look for um, on Google for like temporary water, so not temporary. Well, yeah, maybe temporary as well, because we could do that whilst having some temporary water so solutions. I mean, if we could just have a short term solution so we can get open by summer, though. Well, yeah, that's. Whilst that's, you're doing that. Yeah, I mean, we should definitely proceed not just drop this, because they might be like, oh, we can come around next week and we'll have a look. And then they might be able to get done by summer the right way anyway. So the main issue is the building itself isn't connected up to the mains water supply. Um, and so we would have to do that work. Um, there is water right outside, um, so you could connect up pretty easily, but it is a lengthy process with, the, with Welsh Water to basically get that agreed. The biggest pitfall, which we've now realised um, actually a few days on, is that the waste water is the bit that's going to be a bigger job, because to connect the waste, they'd have to close a road. Um, so it go through basically go through the council. We'd have to get permission to close the road. Um, and Abasok is small. If anyone's visited there, you'll know. Um, and so it would just be a bit of a headache. Um, so we're currently weighing up cost and um, effort versus reward. The old risk and reward analogy. This one is actually like sometimes you, you see a place or sometimes I see a place and it literally eats me up inside. Every second of my thought is like, I want this one so much. Um, so I'm desperate to get this one. Um, I think it would be absolutely perfect. It fits the brief in so many ways. Um, we're just gonna have to weigh it all up and I might have to do the old head over heart scenario where you, you kind of realize that there's just too much work behind something to make it work. But honestly, I just want it so bad. As you can see, we're still very much looking for the next places. Um, so if you've got any potential ideas ideas of destinations that fit our brief, which are popular walking spots, seafront locations and beautiful. There are three key points. Um, comment below and maybe we'll go and check them out. So as ever, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications.